Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Geocache with Komikino and his friends. Hi, Emilium. <laughs> well, how good I must. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid is in Japan, so that's leaving me with plenty of free time to come out here, do some caching. Today is the winter solstice of 2023, and I'm continuing my tradition of going out on winter solstice and finding some geocaches. So join us here today as we try and find the caches in this area here. Let's go. There we go, we got our first cash find of the day right here. Thank you, Emilium, there for reaching into that tree stump and getting that thing for me. Appreciate it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> am I supposed to say something? No. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm continuing this tradition here since I started it in 2018. Uh, 2018. The kid, Paul and I went up to the East Nahomish area. 2019, I was out caching with Carlos up in the Oso area and Arlington area. Ah, 2020, the kid and I went to Monroe and finished off the Monroe cash machine caches that we still needed to find to clear that section out. Then 2021, caching with Emilium and Paul, I believe, at oh, Lord Hill. Right. Remember, remember Lord Hill? <laughs> and last winter, 2022, Paul, the kid, and I were at Mercer Island trying to clear out the island. Of course, we didn't clear out the island because there's too many out there, but we had fun cashing in the snow. And now here we are in Redmond area. A lot of caches in this spot here that I have not found, as you can see. Um, some of them came out here to get when I was trying to clear out the alphabet challenge. So a lot of V and Y caches, I came out and just snagged those and left the rest. So we haven't been out to this area. This would be a nice area to come out to and clear out a bunch of cache plans for the day. We're now at the second cache location here. Had to help Jeff find this one here. And even then, still took a bit to find. I had found this like Almost four years ago, I think I have a video of it. I'll have to go research my archives. But <laughs> have you ever gone out to help a friend find a geocache and then it took you a long time to find it because you forgot where it was? If so, let me know about it down below because that's what happened here. It's cool coming out to this spot here because the views. I remember being out here, as I said, like four years or so ago and the views were amazing and it's a great beautiful day today so i'm really enjoying coming back out here and checking this place out again this is cool check this out now wow what time is it here uh jeff there 11:50. 11 11:50. wow we've been doing this here for about three hours now 
I've got what seven fines and you've got nine. Something like that. Yeah, so we're still out here and we're now at a different location here in Jeff's favorite area to go cashing in. Redmond. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking here about uh, the cash hides out here compared to, let's say, the area that we live in or the Snohomish, Monroe area. Um, don't seem to have as much trouble with the GPS bouncing all over the place. <laughs> so when we get out here, it's like, okay, ground zero is pointing here, but because of the wonderful tree coverage that we have. Uh, GPS can kind of bounce around. The ground zero can be like all over the place. So it's taken a little bit to find some of these cache hides, but so far we haven't had any DNFs. And it's been a pretty good day here so far. And oh, I like this type of a area. I, 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 I love these type of little areas. Check this out. I like these little spots where there's lots of trees, but then you have a nice little clearing and it's dark because of the canopy cover. Cool, when you see a little spot like that, I think that would be a neat little place where you can like maybe set up a picnic table or some benches or something there, just a nice rest area along the trail. But again, um, I've got seven cash finds here so far. Millions have got nine, so I do have um, 11 cash finds here total so far for the solstice souvenir so um i'll be getting that here pretty soon and of course we want to get a bunch of these out here for emilium so he can get that as well but the day here is beautiful it's awesome sun's out it's not freezing and we're having a great time out here uh, caching and jeff's favorite area redmond right yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is it here? <laughs> it's funny, I was doing my uh, dialogue there and uh, walked past the cache. <laughs> do I vlog or do I cache? I don't know what to do sometimes here. Small stump beside a big brother tree. That's got to be it. Or how about that? That's about 48 feet from the J marker on the trail. I can't give it a go, Jeff. I'm 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 filming. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeff. See, that's why I bring people along so they can find the caches for me while I vlog this stuff. Uh, if if this is a question for you vloggers out there, seriously, when you're out caching, do you kind of rely on the other people to find the cache for you so you can film it? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like an equal effort to, uh, you know, you film and then like you go cashing as well? It's kind of 50-50 here so far today. Like, But then um, I haven't filmed a lot of the other caches. It was just, um, you know, we took pictures of them when after we found them because I don't want to film every cache. And also... Question you vloggers out there, do you film every cache you find when you're out on a run? Or do you just kind of film whatever and go with that? Leave me know about it down below. Did you find it for me yet, Jeff? Come on. No, no. Oh. oh, gosh. No dice. <laughs> oh, that's the cache right there? It is. Thanks for fighting for me, Jeff. Appreciate that. <laughs> So we're out on this trail system here in Redmond Ridge. And as you can see here, there's 12 caches. Actually, there's 11, but one is uh, under repair. <laughs> so there's these 11 to 12 caches on this loop, on this trail system out here. I've seen this for like the longest time, and I've always wanted to come on out and get this stuff. And I thought that since today, you know, being the winter solstice, this would be a great time to come out 
and get these caches here finally. You know, bring a friend along that hasn't cleared this area out already and uh, team up and have a fun day of caching out here. Do you go caching on the winter solstice? Or how about summer solstice? Do you have any like special events that you kind of just set aside and plan for these type of events? And what the heck is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> Jeff. I found a, sh it's like a shark slipper. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. <laughs> okay, that, that's funny. It's, that's pretty uh, awesome. That's, it's, it's giving me a laugh for the day. So yeah, I'm going to get picture a picture time. of that. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> I always enjoy finding these Basset Hound caches out here. These are primarily out here in the east side of the Seattle area, you know, Redmond, Woodenville. If you ever come out to the Redmond area of Washington, please try and find some of these Basset Hound caches. They're, they're great. You can find them all over the place. So thank you for another wonderful, awesome Basset cache hide. <laughs> Jeff, what's this down here? It's a big cow patty. It's a big, wow, okay. <laughs> what is it? What's under the uh, strategically placed uh, sticks and bark? <laughs> Shall I go in for the kill? Do it. What is it? One at a time. <laughs> Ooh. And you hear that noise, it's those dogs or whatever. Right. Maybe those are dogs, I don't know. There you go, wow, that is a large cache right there, folks. Is, are, those are dogs, right? Yeah. Okay, no, like dogs are like they're coyotes. It's a pack of wolves, Rich. Oh, wow, that's fun to hear. Oh, okay. And this is a large geocache, and wow, look on the inside here, folks. Looks like we've got ourselves some decoys in there, some red herrings and stuff. So, yeah, we need some large geocaches for a large geocache challenge out here. And glad we got this one. And I think there's another one down the trail. And, of course, the one that is under maintenance is a large that we won't be able to get. But at least we'll get two large finds for the day. Did you find it yet, Jeff? I'm sure I'm close. Awesome. Let's get this thing. That was a pretty cool cache find. You had to play a little game of eeny, meeny, miny, mo to find the uh, proper container that the cache was in. So that was pretty fun. Nice little challenge to it. And also getting a large cache like this. I'm going to give it a favorite point. How about you, Jeff? You bet. That was great. Awesome. You're getting two favorite points. All right, Jeff. What's under that nicely placed pile of sticks? <laughs> An Icelandic frog cache. Yes! And this is the second large out here, so yes, let's get this thing. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's, well, that's a little larger than a regular ammo can, so I'll, I'll claim it as a large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to give me a large? I'll take a large. There you go.
people down the trail. They're, they're geocachers. So we saw them here at this location. We we're thinking, are they geocaching? So as we were walking up close to them about like, oh, 180 feet away or so, we're like, are you geocaching? And they're like, yes, and we can't find it. So we helped them find it. And here's a picture of the uh, cache <laughs> that we found here. So we helped some cachers find a cache. So that was pretty cool. Running into cachers out in some random trails. We're on our way now to another large geocache out in this area. We've cleared the loop out there. There's a couple more caches out here to the east of that loop. We're going to grab these, and lucky for us, one of them is a, uh, a large cache. Let's check this out. What is it? What is it? Boom. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Cool. What a great day of geocaching. Got all these finds and three larges. That's awesome. Woot. And here we are, folks. We are at the last cache of the day. We came out here to this swampy location here to get a two difficulty, two and a half terrain, which is a bunch of BS. <laughs> because this is not a two and a half terrain cache. It is definitely not. This is like a friggin' swamp out here. I mean, look what a million's had to go through. Check this out. Now, where's a million? All right, I got it. You got it? I got it. Yeah, hold that thing up. Hold on. <laughs> wow, is that a large too? Uh, it's a regular. It's it's a regular? Yeah. When you're out geocaching in rough terrain like this, don't forget to bring a friend so they can find the geocache for you. Shut up, Rich. This cache here is definitely insane. Like, look at what we had to go through. The trail is like what 80 feet that uh, way yeah, probably somewhere that we had to pretty much rest. not really bushwhack our way through because there was a geo trail i guess you can call it that we followed but came on down to this area and then it was just guesswork on where the thing would be and thanks amelia <laughs> <laughs> it's like we kind of knew where to get where it was based on where gps was pointing and the hint item but yeah, that was, that was nuts. <laughs> it was one of those caches where we probably just should have walked away. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm glad we got it. We got this area here cleared, sort of. Yay. And there we go, folks. What a great day of geocaching here on the 2023 winter solstice. I got 20 finds for the day and you got 23. 23. There oh. we go. So not a day for numbers, but just a day to go out and just clear out some spots in Redmond because that's Jeff's favorite place to cache. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hey, who knows where we'll be caching next. Until then, cache, cache on. on. Redmond. <laughs>